Cambodia, the kingdom of wonders, a nation rich in culture, history, and traditions. In this land lies a precious jewel that shines ever so brightly for the world to see. Standing tall in all its glorious form, Angkor Wat is the world's biggest religious temple located in Siem Reap, Cambodia. It is the symbol, pride, and jewel of Cambodia. Built by King Surya Varman II in the 12th century, who reigned as king from 1113 to 1150 AD. This majestic architecture took 37 years to complete by man. It was originally a Hindu temple as a place of worship to Vishnu, but eventually turned Buddhist by succeeding kings. It is rich in history, arts, architecture, and culture. Such a sight to remember. Angkor Wat is the capital city of the Khmer Empire. Agriculture and trade was the basis of the Angkor economy. Angkor Wat is 65 meters in height 1,500 meters times 1,300 meters in area. From top to bottom, it is decorated and plastered with beautiful sculptures that tell a hundred stories. The architecture is so detailed, beautiful, and precise that it will leave you in awe of how man can achieve this. Truly, the pride of Cambodia, a monument of history, and culture so magnificent that it makes you question as if it was truly made by man the walls are made out of sandstone lava stone and basalt sandstone is a sedimentary rock that is durable and can withstand weathering its smooth surface made it essential and beautiful to carve on as opposed to the rough surface of the lava stone. The lava stone or laterite is used for protective walls around Angkor to give structure to the temple. There are channels of water surrounding Angkor Wat that are 1.5 meters deep. Not only is it a vital water source for the Angkor civilization, but it also wets the sand under the temple. Furthermore, it symbolizes the Konkir River. In Hinduism, it is believed that the river is used for cleansing one's sin. The monsoon season keeps the water channels alive. In addition, there are whole dug at the bottom of the wall. It acts as a drainage system to cast out water from the monsoon rain. Look at these beautiful carvings. They are very detailed and depict stories of Hinduism. The people back then used chisel hammers to sculpt on the wall by hand. It must have taken lots of patience and precision. Mistakes and carvings were taken out and replaced by a new one. There are bullets scraping the temple walls due to war. The five towers of Angkor Wat represent the peaks of the Meru Mountain, which is an important location for the deities, home of the gods you may say. They go there to meditate. At the courtyards of Angkor, there are libraries and chambers where people can come in and read important information before entering Angkor Temple to worship. But such an intelligent civilization fell to wars, both civil and foreign, and greed plays a major part as well. With such an amazing structure comes lots of tourists. In the present day, Angkor Wat allows tourism to be one of the major incomes of Cambodia.
It helps increase the economy of Cambodia, provide opportunities and jobs for locals, creates the incentive to protect and preserve natural environment and valuable landmarks, promote Cambodia's culture, food, traditions, and history, helping others to recognize Cambodia on the map. However, it comes with a negative side too. The ecology of Angkor Wat suffers. Loud noises disturb the animal's habitat, and carbon emissions and footprints from cars causes air pollution. Unmanned tourists who carve their initials and messages into the delicate Angkor walls destroy meaningful pieces of history. The precious carvings and damaging the architecture and stealing precious artifacts. Aside from Angkor Wat, there are many things to explore in Siem Reap, like the Bayon Temple, the Prom Temple, Angkor Eyes, the Siem Reap Aquarium, Safari, and more. Angkor Wat is truly the pride symbol and jewel of Cambodia, a time capsule of Cambodia's history and legacy. However, Things don't last forever. Will this beauty still shine ever so brightly in the near future? Will it stand firm on its ground? Can we protect and preserve the spirit of Cambodia?